friends, in this video we are going to study about northern blotting. In the previous video we have already covered western blotting in which we used to detect specific proteins in a sample. Then we had done southern blotting in which we detect specific DNA fragment and now in this video we will study northern blotting where we will detect RNA, uh, mainly the mRNA which helps in the gene expression. So basically the RNA is the messenger RNA and messenger RNA is helpful in the gene expression. So we can say to detect gene expression uh, is called the northern blotting. So there are certain steps just like southern blotting. Northern blotting is very similar to southern blotting. Here we have sample where we have cells. Now from these cells we need to extract RNA. So in order to isolate RNA we can perform various extraction techniques such as cellulose chromatography and trisole chloroform method of RNA extraction. So by using these methods we can actually isolate RNA from the cells and use it as a sample. The next step is to digest or to cut the RNA into small fragments which can be done by using RNA endonucleases or we can simply skip the step also. Now we have this isolated mRNA as a sample which is subjected to agrose gel electrophoresis. As these mRNA are subjected to agrose gel electrophoresis, we can observe the different strands or bands of RNA. The agrose gel electrophoresis is just similar as, uh, the, as we have performed in the southern blotting. The only difference is that in this agrose gel electrophoresis, we add another chemical that is formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is very essential and uh, is an exception which is done in case of northern blotting. Now why we need to add formaldehyde along with the agrose gel? The reason is that here we are using RNA as a sample. So in order to maintain the linear form of RNA, or in order to denature the RNA, we add formaldehyde in this gel so that we can denature RNA and can perform nucleic acid hybridization which is the basic principle of northern and southern blotting. So in the southern blotting, I have already explained what is nucleic acid hybridization and uh, how this principle is important in these blottings. So we can see here in this video also that how uh, nucleic acid hybridization will take place. Now over here we can see that in this agrose gel electrophoresis where formaldehyde is added in order to maintain the linear form of RNA and also to denature RNA. We simply see these strands of RNA uh, which has separated on the basis of their sizes. This is the lightest and this is the heaviest one. Now. Since we have added formaldehyde in the agrose gel, they have already denatured. Now, uh, we transfer this gel uh, onto a membrane. So, transferring of all these RNA bands which I have already denatured, transferring of these bands from this agrose gel to a membrane which is a nylon membrane, it's called blotting. So, the next step after agrose gel electrophoresis is blotting. Now in the blotting process we simply transfer the uh, bands on the gel onto a nylon membrane. This is done with the help of capillary action. Now how capillary action takes place here we have this transfer buffer in this solution. So uh, we have sponge in it next to it is the gel then we can see membrane and then these are the Wattman paper towel and the weight. Here with the capillary action slowly and gradually what we observe is that uh, with the help of capillary action the transfer buffer uh, will transfer from the gel to membrane and then to these Wattman paper and towel. When we observe that this towel has become wet we will uh, find out this, that this blotting has, has taken place. So the bands on the gel will get transferred to the membrane. Now we will observe the membrane. The membranes are usually we use in northern blotting are the nylon membrane or amino benzoxymethyl paper. Remember this is different from southern blotting. In southern blotting we mainly use nitrocellulose membrane. However in northern blotting we mainly prefer nylon or amino benzoxymethyl paper. 
that's very important now we have seen that blotting blotting has taken place and all these bands of rna has uh, transferred on this membrane now we need to fix these rna strands so we fix them with the heat treatment around 80 degrees celsius or we provide them uv light so in uv light or with the heat treatment we can easily fix these bands on their on the stationary phase or we can uh, easily fix these bands on the nylon membrane after fixing RNA uh, bands, we need to uh, perform the next step which is nucleic acid hybridization. That's the main principle of uh, this northern and southern blotting. So here in this northern blotting, the next step is that we will put this nylon membrane in a solution which is probe solution containing DNA as a probe. Now, uh, I have already explained in Southern Blotting as well that what is a probe? It's actually a, a complementary sequence that we actually synthesize in the lab and it's always a single stranded sequence uh, which is required to be complemented with the uh, gene of interest or we can say the interested RNA. So the fragment of RNA in which we are interested, we will make a complementary probe in the laboratory so that this probe can hybridize and make a double stranded uh, you know structure of dna rna or rna rna duplex so probes can be made uh, probes can be single stranded dna or they can be uh, single stranded rna and they are usually radio labeled for their detection so probes are radio labeled so we dip the membrane in the probe solution and we let it uh, incubate for some time so that these probes can actually find their complementary sequence and we what we will observe that on this nylon membrane or amino benzoxymethyl paper after hybridization we wash and we do the autoradiography and we put an x-ray film over here so after autoradiography we observe that some of the RNA and probe they have complemented and they had form a heteroduplex of RNA DNA hybrid which is nucleic acid hybridization. So these are the probes which are radio labeled probes and now they have become a hybrid. So these are our area of interest and these three dark bands actually shows that yes these are the RNAs which we need to analyze. So on the x-ray film we observe this radio labeled uh, probes with their mRNA strand so this is how RNA DNA hybrid is formed and we can detect the RNA or gene expression so this is how we perform northern blotting technique I hope that you like this video and if you did then please don't forget to like subscribe share comment thank you